Hey guys, it's Makanor, and I'm gonna talk about misanthropy and other kin. I was suggested to make this video because somebody asked me, do I experience misan misanthropy? And do I think other kin, some other kin, go through mi misanthropic phases? And if I can make a video on it and tips to deal with that. One, yes, I do deal with misanthropy from time to time because I become deeply disgusted with the beliefs and actions of some human beings or some groups of human beings of a part of the human race. As, I, as Albert Einstein said, it has become appallingly obvious that our technology has, exce has exceeded our humanity. However, I do think, I do think a good bit of other can do go through misan misanthropic phases, but another, good, another thing to consider or take into account that non otherkin and otherkin tend to go through these misanthropic phases where they are appalled with humanity, the human nature, the human race. And I, like my tips for that is it's important to consider that as a as a whole, the human race, we have faults and flaws and we have our low moments. We have our low moments throughout history and we have our very high moments. And I think if one has a feeling of hatred towards hatred or disdain or disgust or dislike towards hum towards humanity or the human race, it's important to remember that you're part of the human race. It's important to embrace your own humanity, embrace your own faults, and it's also important to it's important to can take take into consideration that our faults make us who we are. Our faults give us something to contrast to. Like it's by contrasting your faults with your great characteristics and traits that you become the person you are. And as for human, as for the human race, as Albert, um, as Albert Einstein also said, only two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. And I'm not sure about the former. So yeah, you can be misanthropic as much as you like. You could swear up and down that the human race isn't crap. But it's important to consider that not all people are bad. Not everyone on this planet is bad. There are good people out there. There are kind people out there. There are loving people out there. And it's important to consider and focus on those. It's important to focus on the good. But you don't ignore the bad. It's important to focus on the good when you can. I mean, it's important to focus on the good at all times. But it's also important to combat and stand up against the bad and the evils of humanity. That's how I feel. And... I do know that there's a good bit, not not a good bit, but I do know that there's a handful of other kin, and I know that their opinions do not, and I'm going to say this, their opinions do not reflect on the whole other kin community, but there are some other kin that feel like they're not biologically, emotionally, or spiritually attached to the human race. And I beg to differ. I personally consider that we are human, that we are a part of the human race. That human body you're in is very much human. Those human emotions you feel are very much human. And I know animals do experience emotions as well, and whatnot, but it's just alienating yourself from the human race that you're a part of doesn't really do much. It doesn't, it doesn't really solve anything. If anything, it just adds on to the list of problems, because if I felt like I wasn't a part of the human race, I'd probably feel lonely. That's my opinion. Um, I don't want to end this on a bad note. I don't want to end this video on a bad note. To me, it's just you focus on the good, you combat the bad, and you stand up to the evils when you can. And it's just one step at a time. You don't need to you don't need to save the whole world. You can save one person. You can do good for one person. You can do good. You can do one kind act here and there. And that makes enough of a difference. That makes enough of a difference for humanity. And if we all started making that step towards taking those steps, we'd be good. This is Makanor. Like, comment, subscribe.